bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. Good morning, everyone. We are at the Blue Heron French Cheese Company. And they've got a really cute little petting zoo. And they're over there feeding all the chickens right now. And they've got peacocks over there and some lambs and goats. And a really big field out back here. And then back past this building here and the big double-decker bus, they allow you to stay two nights back here. And so last night we stayed here and then we may stay tonight. Not really sure what we're all doing, but Scotty and I are going to head over to the Tillamook Cheese Factory. It's only about, oh, two minutes down the road from where we're at right now. And the Tillamook Cheese Company just built their brand new visitor center. So we're going to go show you guys around there. Well, we made it to the Tillamook Cheese Factory. Yum. Moo. <laughs> Moo. If you've never been here before, the building over there used to be the big uh, center where you could walk in there and taste the cheese, get ice cream. Now they have all these new outer buildings. I don't know if you can go in them, but we'll go check it out. And this is their newest building here. You can get online to the website and check it out um, if you want to learn more about it. I've been coming here since I was a little girl. But I have been going to that building over there all my life, so this is going to be a new experience. And they, then, were, they were closed for what, two years while they did yeah, this? Yeah, two years it took them to get this all together, so this has been a big deal this year for them opening up. The gal at Blue Heron, Heron said that you want to get here really early in the morning or the lines get really packed in here. And it's 10 o'clock. It's, <laughs> it's 10 o'clock and it's already packed. And full tiny house, Dana, Steve, and the kids came here and and uh, they said that the lines were really long. So, anyways, we'll go in here and check it out. Looks like they got some baked goods, some pizzas going on, ice cream. You want to go milk the cow? No. Yeah. They want to see you milk I'm the, not cow. the cow. You can. <laughs> Scotty doesn't want to milk the cow. <laughs> Well, there's nothing I can do about the background noise, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. And I was saying, uh, we have a lot of viewers that might know a lot about cows and our milk and all of that, but some may not, so here you go. This is the diet of the champions. detect if their cows are not eating enough, if they're not feeling well. Huh. That's what they put on them. Well then of course we gotta have our good old truck drivers out there taking the milk to the different places.
why they weren't kidding when they said that you need to get here early. Now we get to go in here and see how they do it. quite the process in there. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like they're uh, operating today. They're down here cleaning cleaning and working on things down there. Well, there's some big blocks of cheese. Yeah, that shows how it cuts it. It wraps it and then it cuts it again. It, it unwraps it. boxed up already. Oh, yeah. Okay. So they come over and Those the... must have already had their cheese Those cut. Are... are you cutting the cheese? I think the cheese has been cut. But <laughs> that seems like it's... Maybe... It... Oh, it's going like that to storage. Oh. Yeah. See, it says cold storage right Oh, now. yep. Cold storage. It it's six... It sits for 60, 90 days, I think. Oh. Before it cuts the and cheese. And then this looks like the... That's the rails. single loaf maker. It wraps a single loaf. But they're not working today. Maybe they have a single, maybe they have enough single loaves. Um, yes, they might. This is those blocks that you saw, those were 40 pound blocks of cheese. Oh, a blue octopus. Let's see what that is. As fast as baked cheese comes out of the baking machine, the worker checks to make sure they're fed straight onto the white plates in the blue octopus vacuum sealer. Well, that would be the blue octopus down there. 120 packages a minute. That's a lot of cheese. <laughs> if a piece isn't perfect, it goes into a tub for reuse as shredded cheese. Yummy. Yeah. Robotic debagger. Yeah. Yeah. They have an inso bagger and a debagger. <laughs> All right, let's go check out some more of the cheese factory. Well, I don't know if we want to stand in this line to get cheese. We could just go over to the store and buy some Tillamook cheese, but. But I think we'll stand in line and experience it. Sharp is never dull. The little, let's see, what do they say? By far the best yogurt. Happiness in a bowl. Smile. Well, this is a little bit different than it used to be. It used to be that they just had a small little wagon that had chunks of cheese on it and you just walked up with a uh, toothpick and grabbed it now it's a big line and looks like you actually get a lot more cheese samples they only have one guy cutting the cheese <laughs> so if you have a block of cheese how many times does he have to cut the cheese to make little cubelets We'll find out. I wonder how many times that guy cuts the cheese. Mm, well, there's their little gift store. Look at all kinds. Oh, people are picking out their curds down there. 
I do not like squeaky cheese. All this cheese could be a problem for me. <laughs> I would like it. Well, he's all done cutting the cheese. Oh, no, Carrie's going to cut the cheese some more. Got a good eyeball. He's been doing it a while. Now you can see what he got. One, two, three. That's a good slice. <laughs> That's a heck of a nice job. Yeah, that's a okay, we got white cheddar cheese curds, Monterey Jack, medium cheddar, Keith Mears cheddar, extra sharp cheddar, and I'm not sure what the last one is. I can't see it. Um, okay, I'll. You hold my curds. Okay. Get, get I'll get one for you. Let's me. see. You got it on there. Can you hold those. I'm making Scotty hold them. <laughs> I'm making Scotty hold each and every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of people in back of us here, so we're trying to we're trying to get going here. Got to get each and every one of them. See, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I got a double. <laughs> I got a double on there. <laughs> All right, let's go over here and sample our cheeses. Yum, yum, yum. You, you like <laughs> you goofed up. I'm the winner. <laughs> that did not take very long to get the through no. that line. I've heard stories that it takes a long time. I think it's worth it to be able to sample. Let's see. What do you think? That, that was a pepper jack yum. You got two pieces on this. Mm, pepper jack. Oh. Very good. Okay, here's your pepper jack. I just had one. Oh, I'm done. Okay, and this one, I don't know which, what this, I don't know what this one was. Mmm. Sharp cheddar. We might not have to have lunch today. Yeah, might have to do something else. Mmm. <laughs> okay, now these are mixed up, so we don't know. Got well, definitely truck cut. Mm. I haven't it? got to that one yet. <laughs> Woo. I don't like curd. I'm going to try one. I've tasted them before. Eat it. I don't like it. Eat it. You like turds? Turds? <laughs> you like turds? <laughs> I don't think I ever had a curd. They, there's, just, there's almost like no flavor to them and they're kind of squeaky on here. Your... Mm, okay, we're going to go downstairs. Well, I tried to steal Scotty's um, sharp cheddar. He wouldn't give it to me at all. You can have this one. I'm almost cheesed out. I'm cheesed out too. Okay. Now let's go have some ice cream, right? Oh, now we're good. Now Scott says we're gonna go get some ice cream. You want waffle cone? <laughs> no. I need to. I need to shred a few pounds. <laughs> yeah. We've been on vacation. All right, no waffle cone for Scotty, maybe. Well, I have not given up on that theory. <laughs> yeah. Well, when we meet up with Jay, you'll have to have a waffle cone. Jay, Absolutely. that's that's the date you and Scotty got, waffle mm -hmm. cone. They got all kinds of ice cream. I mean, all kinds. 
Good, you're an ice cream lover. Califi let's see, California peach cobbler, salted caramel toffee. Mmm. Toasted coconut fudge. Not a coconut fan, but you know. Whiskey and maple, that sounds Ooh. pretty good. Oh, nutty peanut butter. Wow, they got just about every ice cream you can imagine. The mudslide looks awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, mudslide, mudslide. Well, that's a different one. What one do you guys think is Scotty's favorite? Uh, mudslide? Butterscotch? Uh, Something chocolate. Utterly chocolate? I didn't have my glasses on. Um, yeah. No, I'll show you which one is his favorite right here. Rocky Road. That's it. Yeah. Mm. And, Love Rocky Road. And I'll show you what my favorite is. Rocky Road. Mary and Mary. Oh, right yeah, there. I have that. That's my favorite. Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Oh. What is this? Smoked black pepper. Oh. Looks, looks weird how it's, it's all... like they you can buy the in pieces and stuff oh, so, so it's a better yeah price. better pricing maybe what is the price on it i can't read it uh five five sixty nine in cuts but what ah. did you say it is a pound 5.99 a pound yeah 5.99 a pound I'm not sure that's any better than in the store so. <laughs> oh, white cheddar cheese curds You know, I didn't even realize it until I said something to somebody we were with. I said something about the Tillamook Cheese Company, and they'd never heard of Tillamook Cheese. So uh -huh. it makes you—you don't realize when you're when you grow up with a certain uh, brand of uh, food or something like that. You, you you don't realize that across the country, not everybody has the same brands. You just kind of assume it. I've eaten a lot of that. A lot of yogurts. All right, I think I'm about grocery stored out. That's what this is, is a grocery store. <laughs> For Tillamook. Yeah, I can tell we haven't bought like Tillamook in a while because didn't we used to pay like six ninety nine, five ninety nine on sale? Yeah. Now it's eight ninety nine for two pounds. Here. Right. I saw that the other day. Boom day. Oh, we better go get our road trip picture. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a big line of people getting foods. Let's see what they got. Oh, you can have all kinds of different yummies put on your. I believe it's yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. All right, Scotty and I are not going to go stand in these lines. We're not really into uh, having any ice cream. Not morning really. ice cream? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's pretty early in the morning. And then there's just pastries. Oh, these are cute, you guys. Look at these. Little farm animals. So those are cute. But... Yeah, we're not we're not hungry at this moment, so I think we're gonna go ahead and pass. When did your family first discover Tillamook? Hmm.
That's what happens when you cut the cheese. It all goes up. I'm glad I'm down here. Lots of cheese. All right, guys. We are done in the factory here. Visitor center. And I think we'll go ahead and go outside and see if there's more out there. And if not, we'll get on the road. Okay. Well, with everybody cutting the cheese in there, it didn't smell that bad. No. And it actually tasted pretty good. It did. I hate to say <laughs> that. Well, the farm experience is only open Friday and Saturday? I think it's Saturday it said like Sunday. Friday dash Sunday. So maybe yeah, Friday just on the weekends. And this place is packed. People are running around trying to find parking spots. Yeah. And they're parked across the street. <laughs> so I highly suggest if you're going to come, and nobody's really paying attention to let anyone Over. else, so Scott's just going to jump out here. Um, I highly suggest if you're going to come to the Tillamook Cheese Company, just because it's new and it's summertime, maybe in the winter it's not so bad, but this is a Wednesday and it's jammed packed here and it's not even noon yet. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. And it's packed across and it's the all, street. And it's pretty fun in there. Even if you don't eat cheese or meat or ice, or cheese, meat, no, cheese. <laughs> even if you don't eat milk or drink milk. Can you say it for me? If you don't do dairy products, you can still go and have fun. <laughs> Which incorporates cheese, milk, ice cream, you scream, yogurt. We all scream for ice cream. They even have a crosswalker up there. <laughs> yeah, they do. And everybody's over here trying to get oh. in this little spot. And there's all kinds of parking over here. Yeah, it's pretty insane. But it was not, this morning when we got there at 9 o'clock, it was not bad at all in there. Oh, and now there's lines up out the door. Wow. What? Okay, yeah. All right, so we're going to go down the road here and check out a few other things. And I don't know. We'll see what kind of trouble we get into today. That's insane. That's yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. All right. So onward we go. Hey, and I want to also mention, we are on the, let's see, Persian Gulf, Afghanistan and Iraq Veterans Memorial Highway. So I think that's kind of cool that we've got an entire highway here dedicated to our veterans. And uh, we're just real thankful for them. I think everyone's going to cut the cheese. Oh man, I'm glad I got out of there before it got so packed. I can only take so much of cutting cheese. <laughs>